All right. Now, when I was a kid, Cub Scouts was a big deal. And at Cub Scouts, you do all sorts of stuff. You race blocks of wood down a ramp. You carve animals out of soap with a sweet pocket knife. But most of all, you got to go to Cub Scout camp. Now, our Cub Scout camp was in this random plot of land in the middle of the city called Camp Miaconda. Miaconda, of course, is an old Mohican proverb that translates to land adjacent to a Kmart. And my little 10 year old ass couldn't even pronounce Camp Miaconda. To me, it was always Camp Anaconda. Anaconda, of course, is an old English proverb that means shitty Jennifer Lopez movie. Now at Camp Anaconda, our main goal was to earn merit badges. And I have to say it was pretty easy for us to earn these merit badges because our Cub Scout leader wasn't very good at his job. He liked to half-ass a lot of things. We'd be standing in the middle of the woods and he'd be like, uh, yeah, you guys know fire is really hot, right? Uh, yeah? Okay, good job. Here's your fire safety badge. You guys know when you get lost in the woods, you're supposed to eat berries and fucking try to find your way out, right? Uh, yeah, I guess. Perfect, here's your forest survival badge. But of all the badges that you can earn, nothing was more important than your Arrow of Light badge. Because your Arrow of Light badge proved that you were no longer just a shitty little cub scout. You were a full-blown boy scout. You're a man now. You're a fucking man scout. I am boy scouts. So on what would be my last trip to Camp Anaconda, our goal for that weekend was to finally earn our coveted arrow of light. And on this particular trip, my dad decided to chaperone because, well, it's hard for one person to manage a bunch of punk ass kids in the woods. I don't think he was excited for it. What the, babysit a bunch of shitheads in the middle of the woods? Not really, no. And I can't really blame him. Now, in order to get your arrow of light, you had to meet certain expectations. They're not just gonna give it to you, it's the fucking arrow of light for Christ's sake. This ain't no Girl Scout bullshit where if you sell two cookies, they give you 19 fucking badges on your sachet. No, it was a big deal. But with our lame ass Cub Scout leader, we just had to do the bare minimum. Uh, okay, it says here you guys gotta know how to tie a square knot. Can you do that? Uh, I can tie my shoes. Good enough for me. Next one here, you have to memorize the Scout code. A Scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. Jesus Christ, Timmy, that was a bit overkill, don't you think? God damn, I would've accepted be good or not be an asshole for Christ's sake. Now our final test for our arrow of light happened inside of the cabin that we were staying in on the last night of the trip. All right, here's the deal. You guys can get your little arrows of light as long as you keep this fire lit all night tonight and you don't burn down the cabin and murder everybody, okay? So naturally, we all decide to take two-hour shifts watching the fire while the rest of us slept, and because it was my brilliant-ass idea, I got the first shift. Now, staying up for fire duty was pretty easy for two reasons. For one, our scout leader told us this really fucked-up, scary story right before bed, and it traumatized the hell out of us. Hey, you kids ever hear about the Manitoba Mangler? The Manitoba Mangler? Yeah, it's a story about a guy that murdered a bunch of children in the 1980s. Yeah, he hacked them all up into pieces with a dull chainsaw. It was fucking wild. And for two, for those of you that don't know, my dad likes to snore loud as hell. And when I say loud as hell, I mean if he was taking a nap on the couch, you could hear his ass from the outside. There'd be people walking down the street and shit. What the hell was that, a goddamn wildebeest? Hell, he'd snore so loud, sometimes he'd wake his own ass up. Ah! What the fuck was that? Is there a wildebeest in here? So there I am, on fire watch. My dad's snoring like he's possessed by the fucking devil. At this point, the whole cabin's awake. Jesus Christ, that man's septum is deviated as fuck. Some little kids outside the cabin taking a piss, wondering what the hell's going on. What the hell is that? Is somebody starting a chainsaw? Is it the fucking Manitoba Mangler? So needless to say, we didn't catch the goddamn cabin on fire because, well, nobody got to sleep that night except for my dad. The next morning, everybody's pissed off at him. Hey, uh, the next time you want to help me out with a bunch of kids, can't you not snore like it's the fucking apocalypse? So shout out to my dad's demonic ass snoring because without that, we wouldn't have got our little goddamn arrows of light. The end. BruceDude.com Thanks for watching, everybody. Real quick, I wanted to shout out Alex Clark, who did a cartoon on the same subject. For those of you that don't know, he doesn't do baby shit anymore. He says bad words now, like piss and uh, jabroni. You know, the worst of the worst. So make sure you check out his cartoon.